Delegations from Ukraine and Russia are meeting virtually for a fourth round of talks today. Ukraine's lead negotiator tweeted a photo of that meeting, writing, communication is being held, yet it's hard. The reason for the discord is two different political systems. Let's bring in ABC's Alex Perche in Washington for more. Alex, what's the latest on these negotiations? Well, Diane, both sides are heading into these negotiations with uh, considerable optimism, which, look, I mean, if you remember last week, Russia was demanding that Ukraine uh, basically give these uh, guarantees, a constitutional uh, change that would uh, say that Ukraine would never seek to join the NATO or the European Union. That was something that was a hardline no for, for Ukraine, among some other things. Well, coming into today, we heard from Ukraine's chief negotiator, uh, it was basically Basically saying that it looks that like the situation is far more uh, properly positioned, uh, and also a sense of optimism from 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 Russia, saying that, uh, that both sides believe to have made substantial progress, and and also saying that uh, signaling that they could reach a unified position and have documents uh, basically signed by the next few days. Now, a new ABC News uh, Ipsos poll shows 77 percent of Americans support the White House's ban on Russian oil imports, even if it means paying more at the pump. But Americans are split on President Biden's handling of the war in Ukraine. 48 percent approve, 51 percent disapprove. So what do those numbers tell you about how Americans see our role in this war? Well, Diane, I, I think with that last number, it's it's very reflective of just the uncertainty of this situation, right? When you have a near 50-50 split on how President Biden has handled the situation thus far. I'd also point out that Ipsos poll, that ABC News Ipsos poll, uh, found that it's about, uh, uh, roughly three and f uh, three and four Americans uh, blamed Vladimir Putin for this. But also, I mean, you, you look at that uh, that data about uh, the gas ban, and look, this was something that the White House was was very measured in adopting. In fact, we saw bipartisan support uh, from top Democrats and Republicans on banning Russian oil and gas before it was a position that the White House absolutely, uh, uh, absolutely adopted. And so that actually might be reflected as well in some of these numbers. All right, Alex Perche in D.C. for us. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.